What's going on, everybody? Sorry it took so long for me to get live. I had a phone call uh, before I went live, so I had to take that. But uh, how's everybody doing today? Uh, come on here, do a live. Uh, Go stay on about an hour. And uh, just checking on everybody, see what uh, everybody's up to. Uh, it's a little bit short of midweek. Just seeing what everybody's up to. Uh, I cooked some chicken last night, some firecracker chicken, and uh, just made a photo on it, put it on uh, TikTok. Nothing major. I've, I've already had a video on it. Hey, DJ, what's going on, man? Come on up. But uh, I had a uh, video on one already, and what I did was I cooked about mm, eight about eight chicken thighs, and I put six of them. I did firecracker, and then the other six I um put uh, Italian salad dressing on them, zesty Italian salad dressing on them, and then uh, did something a little different. I don't, I'm sure everybody's done it before, but uh, I thought about this. I put took some blues hog uh, uh, barbecue sauce and put a little bit of tiger sauce in it. Made me kind of like a glaze, and uh, man, it turned out good, you know, and everything. So something different. I might might try that in on my ribs or something one day. But uh, that's another thing I'm going to talk to about is competition. Uh, uh, I'm planning on doing it. I had something come up. One of my friends, uh, uh, during that storm, he had a tree fall on his trailer. So he's having to get all that situated and everything. So, uh, you don't know if he'll be able to be in the competition or not. So, uh, uh it's kind of up in the air right now, but, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that we get to do the competition, but, uh, if we don't, we don't. We'll just plan for next year, you know. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and Monday go get my ribs. And um, go ahead and go get my ribs just in case, you know, either way. Because I'll be able to cook them either way I'm in the competition or not. I'll just cook them at home, you know, or something. But I plan on going to the competition either way, um, whether I compete in it or not. Wait to see what's going to happen uh, with this, you know, with them getting settled with another place to stay and all that until they can uh, get everything uh, taken care of by getting another the trailer. So, but that's what's been going on with me lately and stuff and uh, everything. I'm going to kind of wait and see before I go any further. Talk about anything else. I'm Waiting to see who else is going to come up and stuff. So, anybody cooking anything this weekend or maybe uh, cooking anything the rest of the week? I haven't really looked at, I'm going to have leftovers tonight, but I don't know who, uh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to, what I'm going to cook after today. I might Sit down and figured it out. So, gonna cook something though. Might be inside. I don't know. Let me tilt my camera up there. Hey, drunken chef, what's going on? That's cool, man. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. Yeah, this is what this one is too. It's kind of like a fundraiser for a family that uh, they lost uh, the husband and the father of the family uh, due to a sudden, yeah, sudden heart attack, and um, he uh, passed away suddenly. So. This benefit's going to be for any of the uh, medical bills that might arise that the insurance, I guess, don't cover. I've expected all that stuff. So that's what we're doing. We're having a benefit for him 
entry fee is $25 uh, per class. And then after each, after the first class, then it's, um, then it's $10 per category after that for like cooker's choice and all that. And you could do beans, you could do anything. Cooker's choice. And then they also have a cast iron, um, cast iron um, category. That's pretty good. Hey, hey DJ, man, what's up? No, I'm not looking for you. No, man, not much. Just, just decided to go live. Seen and just got back from uh grocery store, had to get uh had to get some gas in my truck, so I'm gonna take my uh uncle to the doctor tomorrow. He's got to see uh the eye doctor, so I'm gonna take him tomorrow and stuff. So I went and got some gas. Excuse me, y'all trying to get the camera or yeah. you see my stuff back there and stuff. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So you've been doing all right, huh, DJ? Yeah, I'm doing good. I mean, That's yeah. good, man. Mm. Hey, you ready for this hot weather? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, we, we just had the AC guy here today, so... Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, we'll uh, get ready for the hot level. Oh, y'all had the AC guy out here today? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. And I gotta get it going good, huh? I don't blame yeah. here. Make sure it's gonna do its job. Mm -hmm. yep. I don't know how in the world I got this thing out of alignment, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it don't always work that way. There it goes. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I've been going to eat leftover chicken tonight and stuff because I told my wife, I said, time I got home from getting gas and stuff, I said, I don't, I don't feel like cooking anything. So we're just going to heat up leftovers. And then sometime between now and tomorrow, I get, I'm going to figure out something to cook. It might be something. Short and sweet, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got uh, yeah. Mm. I tell you what, I, I I've been out there watching my thermometer out there on my patio, and I'd be darned if it ain't trying to creep closer to ninety already. It's like eighty something degrees over here, and humid. Golly, it's starting yeah. to get man. Yeah, I'm, I'm dreading that. My wife always picks on me. She said, you go out there in 30-something degree weather and grill. I said, hey, Rachel, being in Louisiana, I said, that that's the best time to grill. Uh, uh, <laughs> nice. Miserable, you know, and the other time, it'd be miserable. It's all get out, you know. Yeah, no, I mean, just to tell the like, we'll see at a nine degrees right now downhill. So, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still debating. I'm going to go live once a week for sure, but I, I'm, I'm still debating what night. I'm thinking that I'm going to try to do it on Wednesday night, do an hour live on every Wednesday night from like seven to eight. Nine. Nice. Well, thinking about doing because um like right now everybody's still at work and everything so i'm not gonna get a big turnout you know yeah and, uh, work and stuff and everything so that's what i'm gonna I think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start going on wednesday night i'll just do random ones during the day but my main one to be on wednesday night and stuff seems like it I don't think there's any other people going on Wednesday night that I know of. I don't know. You know of anybody? Um, no, no, not that I know of. Okay, because I, like I said, I didn't want to do it on Friday night because Des has hers, and then Tuesday, 
Tuesday night, uh, Simon has his and, and Al and all them. So I don't want to run on top of anybody. Yeah. Besides, like, besides that, I like to go to their lives too. So, you know. So yeah. I'm trying to stagger it amongst everybody else's lives. Yeah, yeah. I go. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know uh, S.J. Cook's uh, chef. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Is his life on is his live on Wednesday nights? <laughs> Oops. Mm. Mm. Like I said, it's not guaranteed. I'm just tossing around the idea. It's not. It's not guaranteed. I'm still debating, you know, kind of like to do it started out about just an hour long and then, you know, oh, shoot. Do you know what time, uh, chef? Okay. Six Pacific. That would be. Five o'clock, I think my time is. I'm in Central. There's well, Central. okay. This Pacific, if I remember correctly, uh -huh. is eight o'clock Central. Nine Eastern. Yeah, uh -huh. so that's eight o'clock. Your time. Oh, it'd be eight o'clock my time? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It'd be eight o'clock my time that SJ would come on? Yes. Okay. Yes. Maybe I can run from seven to eight. Yeah. That'd be good from seven to eight. So that, that still might work. Like I said, I'm only going to start an hour. I'll be like an uh, hour, you know, hour lunch. Yeah, I'll probably just go an hour. And then, um, you know, if I decide to do it longer than that, then I'll back it up an hour and go from six to, you know, eight. Mm -hmm. That way uh, I don't run on top of SJ because I like I like going to SJ's lives too. I go really to everybody's that I can. So. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, what you cooking, drunken chef? What you cooking, chef? Uh, I know you're doing a fundraiser this weekend, but uh, what you cooking in between? Anything in between that you uh, gonna be grilling? Hmm. He must be still at work. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm going to stay on here to about four. Nine. Off a little earlier. If I don't have a big, if I don't have a whole lot of people coming on, I might stay to about 4.30. But, okay. Yeah. Yeah. At uh, well, I'm oh. at uh, 600 followers right now on uh, TikTok. No. Oh um, yeah, so I got to reach 800, then I can do lives on it. Uh, seems like my TikTok's kicking off faster and bigger than my YouTube. Oh, you're not doing anything? Oh. I don't blame you. Oh, you so it's. 800. I hope it was a thousand. No, it used to be a thousand. They said they got it down to 800 now and stuff. Uh, so, okay, cool. Good deal. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. 
That would be nine o'clock, you know, time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be nine o'clock my time, because what, uh, Pacific is two hours behind Central? Yes. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. That's something, yeah, I don't, I don't, that might work good. I'll just have to, like I said, I'll have to go take it. It's going to be an hour starting off for a while, you know, maybe move up a little bit more. I could always move back or forward yeah. or whatever, adjust it as I need to. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It won't be that big of a deal. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, I know that uh, which I don't I don't know if he's a subscriber to my channel or not. Uh, uh, shoot, Dash with uh, barbecue catering information. He goes on Wednesday night on live from like two hours, like from eight to ten. Uh, he's he he hasn't had anybody on panel lately, but. Uh, he just does it through chat, you know, and him being on the panel only, but, um, and stuff. So I'm just going to have to do some adjustments stuff, but that's, you know, not that big of a deal. Huh? Also, uh, I was going to tell, uh, everybody too, that I've, submitted a application to be an affiliate for pit boss and i'm waiting on that approval to come back mm. and see if they'll approve me uh to uh be affiliate for them so it's under no. contract but you mm. know I, I do use pit boss that's the only pellet grill i use is uh pit boss because uh I've always been real fond of pit boss because I've really never had any problem with my pit boss other than the fact that uh, I had an auger motor go out. But it, I mean, it's close to five years old. But oh, all right, man, uh, just a second. Okay. Hey, Des, I had to authenticate you. <laughs> hey, Des, what's up? Hey, guys. Not What's much. Going on, uh, oh, not much. It came in earlier, but you weren't live yet, so I wanted to do some other things. Yeah, I, you live. I don't know what it is. Every time I go live, sometimes I get a phone call. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> You've had that happen too, huh? Oh yeah. Oh, it's like. But mm. I, I'm a guy. I mean, I'm Han here, so if I have DJ up here, somebody up here, I'm like, okay, guys, take it over, and then I'll have it. Well, I'm mm. muted, but you guys can see him on the phone. Yeah. 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 Hey, Shop. Hi, Steven. Yeah, and people could see you. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's hard when everybody's going live. Yeah. Hey, Simon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I love you too, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Feel hey. the love, huh, Dad? <laughs> she can be, but she's not that weird. I love me. Hey, yeah. Stephen, man, what's up? Just to highlight some of these here. Yeah, I got to accept that how I am, too. Yeah. Yeah, I go on when you can. Up, oh, hold on. Let me uh, yeah, turn off my just... camera. Oh, there we go. That's all right. You can cook. I'll be off camera. Oh, okay. Oh. He's make. I taught him how to make um, black beans with uh, black beans with beef and right with rice. No. And is recuperating from hip surgery, so we've been bringing our dinner every night. Like last oh. night, it was chicken salad. He made chicken salad. I taught yeah. him how to make chicken salad that I make. 
The night yeah. before that, he decided he's going to try something new. So he made shepherd's pie with mm -hmm. uh, mashed potatoes from scratch. Oh, cool. I yeah. love made mashed potatoes. Oh, man. Talk about good. Yeah, it was really good. So now he's making that so we could take it over early. And that way um, my aunt can have some. Uh, it's one of her favorite meals, black beans with beef and rice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I just told him they gotta not put as much water into it because they were putting too much water into it. Yeah, and I'm like yeah, don't put that much water into that. We're not making black beans and beef and soup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you go from uh, mashed potatoes to, to uh, potato soup, huh? <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, this is like a thicker sauce. It's like you take the can, you dump it in, and then. You mm -hmm. take um, only a half a can of water, not a full can of water, or how mm -hmm. many cans of um, beans you're using. It's a half mm -hmm. a can, then you put it into, you split it off into a couple of the cans, and you stir off all the stuff out of the bottom. And yeah, then it's yeah. got sofrito and um, sofrito and beef bouillon cubes and um, garlic and onion and pepper and cumin. Mm -hmm. and, then you, and then you cook it until it gets a little bit thick, and the uh, meat is tender like it just falls apart with the chewing it's so good. Nice. It's something I invented one day, and the kids are like, Mom, we love this. Yeah. So. You had to put any cornstarch in it to help it thicken, nope. or you just let it thick nope. on its own? Huh? Thick on its own. That's why you got to watch it. Make sure that you don't. Um, it doesn't overboil or overcook, because you want to yeah. bring it down to a low simmer. And uh -huh. then um, go back every once in a while and stir it. If it feels like this, it's getting too thick, then you just add a little bit of water to bring it down, but not enough that it's you know, super mm -hmm. watery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, if you <laughs> if you could, I would say you should have your own cooking channel. But you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a I'm not a big cook compared to some other people. Like, and first of all, and second of all, I can't stand in my galley kitchen. There's just no way. Uh, I know that's why I. If if you could, you yeah, I'd probably make like a lemon roast and um, asparagus with um, steak on the side. Um, what is it? Um, fajita meat cut up with onion and garlic, and then uh -huh. the drippings go over to the drippings mm -hmm. go over to the asparagus and let that get to a certain tenderness and add um, Parmesan cheese to that and have the Parmesan cheese melt onto the asparagus. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And then, a, and then a, um, a, sweet, a big sweet potato on the side. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. That's what y'all going to have tonight, or? No, we're uh, having the black beans, and we're having the black beans with beef and, um, on, and rice okay. tonight. But um, I do want to make that other meal. I'm just waiting for the asparagus to come into season where it's thin, thin the thin stalks. Uh -huh. I, don't like the th I don't like the thick stalk asparagus. Uh -huh. I like the tender. I like them tenderer. Oh, thanks, Kenny. Yeah. 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 It's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Today we went, we went and ordered um, from a pizza place here, Gain Street Pizza. Gain Street Pizza. Gain, sorry, Gain Street Pizza or Gain Street Pies, and I had um, meatball, a deconstructed meatball sub. So I had the meatball, the marinara, and the Parmesan cheese in a container, and then the oh. sub separate because I like to be able to put enough on it where it's not soggy, soggy. It was so yeah. good. Yeah. A little peppery, mm. but it was good. <laughs> Hi, Kenny. Mm. Yeah, hey, Kenny, glad to see you. Yeah. Home yeah. early today, which is nice. <laughs> my aunt, I mean, uh, my aunt, my cousin took care of the last client of the day, which was a tour and consult. Uh -huh. They say that, and then she's going to go do a home visit. So it's like, we got, I got out of work at like 3 15. Nice. Um, yeah. Oh, you at the cottage today? Yeah, I was at the cottage today. And then um, 
Take care, Chef. Have a good night and a good day. See you. Uh, Take I care, man. Thank you. What, I want to clock there. Appreciate it, um, man. Yeah, so I'm I'm going back on Thursday, but Thursday's a full day. Oof. Not looking forward to that one. Yeah. So you're doing it today, tomorrow, and then no, not the tomorrow. It's, I do it Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Cool. Cool. Yeah. And if there's a holiday, then I just do the two days. Or whatever hey, you know, hey, hey, we on? Uh -huh. Hey, we on? What is that? We on? Lion? Oh, yeah. yeah. You want to come on up, Leon? Can. So, how was your day? Hey, me? Doing good? Yeah. Doing good. Uh, I had to go. I got to take my uncle to the doc, eye doctor tomorrow and uh, went and got some gas and just going to clean out my little truck after a while. Got a couple of things I want to clean out in it. And then I got to have him at, at the doctor's at 2, 1045 tomorrow and uh, stuff. And then I'll bring him back home and probably cook something tomorrow evening. Uh, I don't know what yet. Thought about doing grocery pulls, but I might end up just getting groceries on my own, you know, instead of doing the click and pull at Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I, I like being able to pick out my own meat and my own vegetables and fruit, yeah, like you know. And I don't like it when they substitute stuff with stuff I don't want. I know it aggravates me. If I yeah. I get everything I get everything that I wouldn't mind it being substituted. But my meat, I don't get it at Walmart most of the time. I get it at Rouse's or I get it at Kroger's or I'll get it at Brookshire's. I like in the chicken roast. I like in the chicken roast or the whole chicken at um, Walmart because you can get two in the bag yeah. for like 12 yeah. something. So I use yeah. that as my roast. You know, instead of like a whole chicken cutting it up, I make mm -hmm. it as my chicken roast, you know. So I like getting that because I get a better deal than buying mm -hmm. a regular chicken roast by itself. And yeah. with the three pieces, there's enough meat on there. We don't eat the dark meat. We throw away the dark meat. So, yeah. you know. Oh, you just eat the white meat? Yeah. That's all you eat? Yeah. Cool. And like at Thanksgiving time, we used to eat the white meat. And I take the bone and all the dark meat and I put it in a bag and I, say, I give it to my aunt so she can make oh. turkey soup and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, uh, I went the other day to Rouse's and I uh, got some... Uh, Pork, uh, pork butts, uh, twin packs, 88 cents a pound. I bought two twin packs. I came home. My wife said, now, what are you going to do with four big pork butts? I said, I'll find something to do with them. I said, for 88 yeah. cents a pound. Usually, uh, I paid like $16 for one twin pack and then $13 for another twin pack. And shoot, there's, normally you pay that per piece, Yeah, you know, at $2 and something a pack. I mean, a uh, for a single one, I couldn't pass that up. I told her, I said, I don't really I couldn't, need I can't remember if I got a, a roast, um, not a roast, a, sh a shoulder or a butt, but we split mm -hmm. up and we, we broke into three. What's the one that's got the bone in it? Is that a shoulder? I think so, yeah. It's a shoulder. Then we got the shoulder and we, we broke it up into three. So that mm -hmm. way, because my daughter doesn't like a lot of pork, mm -hmm. unless it's like maybe on a, you know, a rib rack. I had mm -hmm. a bunch of um, pork and I had to give it away because – him and mm -hmm. I are not going to just cook for us and leave her out, you know. Mm -hmm. So we kept like um, we gave the loin away, which I cried. <laughs> you like pork because loin? I, because I had because I had a, a big one and I divided uh -huh. it into three, so I can get three good meals out of it. Oh yeah. And and I had used one and gave the other two. Away. Mm -hmm. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, you can take that thing, cut it in three, and then vacuum pack it, and shoot, you got three different suppers or. Yeah, Whatever. we put it in freezer bags and stuck it in the freezer. But yeah. um, it, it's just because she didn't want pork anymore, you know. And I like okay. to have, like, pulled pork with barbecue sauce in there and or taco mm -hmm. seasoning and paste picante sauce and throw it in a, um, a wrap or throw it over rice or whatever, you know. I've took a number four a pork loin and cut it, like, into breakfast chop sizes and shoot uh, freeze pack about four of them per pack. Shoot, man! I have a whole door knob, I have a whole uh, shelf in the freezer dedicated just to pork. Yeah, my, my freezer is like 
chicken and beef. <laughs> mm -hmm. I said chicken and beef in my freezer. But um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Chicken oh, and beef. ham. And then leftovers that I vacuum pack for mm -hmm. when I don't want to cook that day. Yeah, I don't have a vacuum pack. I should get one, though. It would be nice because then the chili that we don't eat, you know, we have some leftover from. And the um, the pork that we had that we had some leftovers on that I had to throw away because I got freezer burned really bad. So mm -hmm. it's just like, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I That's mean, it. it's, 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 I think. it's finding the right one that I can afford with all – because you have to buy all the bags, you know, so. Well, uh, what I did was um, – well, my, my wife bought me this one, but I have bought the uh, food saver ones that the cheapest model that, you know, has the button. Not Don't buy the push down one, man. You strain your gizzards out trying to push it down. But uh, I bought the cheapest push button. One. I think it's like a hundred something dollars food saver, a little over a hundred. And I buy the off brand bags through Amazon. I don't buy food saver bags because golly. I can buy the other day. I bought six rolls of the off brand bags for $32. Three of the name brand, same size rolls, three roll pack, food saver, $41. I said, yeah. I, can do it now. I said, that freezer don't know that they're food saver or not. I said, <laughs> I just went, I saved me some That's money. That's how I feel sometimes. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I can know. If it's mm -hmm. and they're still good, you just gotta watch, you know. You know. You yeah. Know. And put the watch. date on it. Mm -hmm. They still good yeah. during the time. Yeah. So. That's what I gotta do, and then I gotta do something with all the frozen veggies too before they start getting freezer burned. Mm -hmm. It's like we yeah, gotta make I, meals. Yeah, what I do with mine, whatever's in the food saver bag, I put it in the microwave to defrost, or you can just dry, get a big. Four quart uh, uh, pot, regular old pot, and put it in boiling water. And when it gets defrosted, take it out. And it reminds me of the old banquet bags. Do you remember the old bank? Either banquet or encore. Remember, you used to come with a box. It was freezer. You just drop it in the hot water and heat mm -hmm. it up and put it over the bread. Mm -hmm. I wish they would bring that back. <laughs> I know. And the oven bags with the that you could do the roast in. Just put all your. <laughs> Fixings in there. And well, they still have that. I do that. Yeah. I, yeah. And I have the crock pot bag too that I use. But just to have the freezer, the freezer bag of, you know, you just put it in the boiling water and let it heat up. It's like the easiest meal you could think of. And you just put it on a, a piece of bread or over yeah. something and have that. Oh, yeah. now, see, I would want to go coleslaw. Yeah. I'd have to go to KFC to get my coleslaw though. Yeah. Mm. I love that's KFC's that's coleslaw. Good. Yeah, it does. Stephen, you, you might just put an idea in my head. <laughs> if you uh, like pastrami, I think it's no corned beef. Corned beef from that's a corned beef is with um is with um sauerkraut, right? For a Reuben, or is that um pastrami? Um, I think uh, it's corned beef is for Reuben, I think. Okay, so yeah. a Reuben is a sauerkraut, change the uh -huh. sauerkraut to coleslaw, and you've got a Rachel. Oh, because it's on the sweet side. Uh huh. You uh -huh. know, so because I used to work at a deli and we used to make Rubens and Rachels. So uh -huh. the Ruben was the sauerkraut and the Rachel was the coleslaw. Oh, it's called a Rachel? Huh. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. With beans for me. You like beans in yours? Mm -hmm. I like it either way. My wife don't like beans, but in certain things, but. I'll eat it either way, really. I like I like it with beans, but then I like it having like if I have leftovers, I'll have it on a hot dog. Uh huh. I like it on a chili chili hot dog. I love that with beans. Uh -huh. And then I'll have sometimes um if I if I'm in the mood, I'll get saltines and just put the chili on top of my saltine cracker and eat mm -hmm. it that way because I like it that way too. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. But again, uh -huh. all those carbs, man, they just love me. I know. Oh. Uh <laughs> Do you eat do you eat uh Wendy's chili desk? I you don't ever, go to Wendy's. You don't? I mm -hmm. I noticed today somebody was saying on the radio or something. No, no, I take it back, it was on YouTube channel I was watching. That they have Wendy's chili in a can now, like Hormel and Wolf. They make it uh, market Wendy's chili. I used to like chili from Wendy's like years ago and then it yeah. and then 
things changed and I was just like, yeah. no, that's a letdown. Yeah, I ate it in you several know? years myself. Uh, Kenny yeah. says no beans. Yeah. I thought you were gonna change your <laughs> name there for a second yeah. to the other one. He's like, I'm on the wrong one. I'm on the recovery, yeah. not the adventure. Yeah, Kenny. <laughs> but you will change the couch. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you might rather skip all that gas on your stomach, huh, Kenny? <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah, I'll be having night. I've been having a lot of gas lately. So, what's more gas today with black beans? <laughs> yeah. 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 You ever made a burrito out of them, Des? Like a yeah, black we have. Oh, uh, there we go, Kenny. Yeah. Um, sometimes we'll turn around and we'll mush the beans and we'll make it into, you know, like a refried bean. We'll put uh -huh. that on there and then put the, everything on top and fold it into a burrito mm -hmm. or a taco. Oh, there goes the camera again. He's coming back down to check on it. <laughs> make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. <laughs> uh, He's letting it thicken up, too. <laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can find that picture. I'll show you what it looks like. It's one of my favorite meals that I make for the family. Uh, let's see, photos. Uh, let's go down to 2015. And go up from there. It's getting there good. The texture. The texture's getting there. <laughs> yeah, you can tell by the texture if you're there or not. <laughs> there you go. Jelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jelly with beans. Jelly with beans. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember. Steven, I can't remember. Do they put beans in their chili in Texas, or is that a? Hmm. They had a big debate a while back on YouTube That's on good. that channel. Texture is almost there. The yeah, it's got a little bit more to go. You got it thicker. Yeah. It, it, it sticks on the spoon, but not. Yeah. Hmm. Raise it up, easy fit, not a lot. Okay. Mm. And back down two minutes, and then start the rice. Okay. Mm. It's getting there. He said. Right. I got him to make his pizza again. He makes pizza dough from scratch. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Charles right. his own pizza dough. That's I'm good. sorry. I said he tosses his own pizza dough. He doesn't toss. <laughs> but he, doesn't make, he does make his own. Yeah. It's really good. He tried making bread, but it didn't come out, or a calzone, it didn't come out the way he wanted to. It's basically trial and error. Uh, that's what I thought, So, uh, Stephen, uh, but I couldn't remember for sure. Yeah, they had a big, they had a channel a while back on YouTube. It was a big debate. There were some people were saying beans, somebody was saying no beans. And yep, I remember that. There was, I remember it to be like that. Um, yeah. Good. I, I always see it depending on how you weigh. I mean, mm -hmm. really. Yeah. Yeah, I was raised with beans. Mm -hmm. I was. Oh, and some people, I, I always grew up, my, my mother-in-law, she laughs at me because I put my I put my uh, chili over rice a lot of times. Yeah, we do that too. She said, you don't put chili over rice. I said, yeah, we do over here. <laughs> we, we do that from time to time. When, especially when we're getting like low on the chili, there's just enough, you know, to uh -huh. put on top of everybody's, so we'll make rice to go with it. Uh -huh. Yeah, Nimble had that much, so, so, yeah. Wow. Well, no. Texas chili is probably spicy as all get out. That's just too much spice for me. Huh. I'm a wimpy girl when it comes to spices. 
If you want to have wrong chili, huh? Simon, you put beans in it. <laughs> uh, whatever, Simon. <laughs> um, uh, hmm. Yeah. And it depends if, with me, it depends if my wife tells me if I put beans in it, you're sleeping outside. So, <laughs> uh, that's the that's the deciding factor. Don't want to sleep under the stars. Yeah, that would be it, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'll sleep under the stars. Yeah, it could be raining. <laughs> no rain, you've got me. Mm. Uh, All right, where yeah. is it? I'm still looking for it. I got like four places to look. <laughs> mm. Yep. <laughs> I just want the island sugar coconut sugar coconut cakes so or desserts, whatever they're called. I forget what they're called, but my uh, uh -huh. our nanny, uh -huh. um we used to, yeah. when we lived in the islands, our housekeeper was like our nanny. I went like a second mom to me and my my brother. We make these sugar these sugar coconut cakes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Yeah. Cool. She was in Antigua. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. I'm still, I'm still looking for it. Oh, and then I'm trying I told Jeremy he needs to find that um meatloaf recipe he a uh, meatloaf he made from scratch. He can't mm. find it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yeah. That was mm. really good too. No. Yeah. I've seen put I've seen people put milk in their in their uh meatloaf or or half and half and you know. Yeah. That's the debate on that. But uh, I've never yeah. really seen anybody that hasn't put an egg in meatloaf yet. You know, he has. He has. Yeah. He puts he he don't put egg in his. Um. No, he has put egg in his. Oh, he does. He, yeah, yeah, but what he said if no egg. Yeah, no egg. Oh, don't no. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen anybody that hasn't put an egg in there. Everyone I've seen, I do that too. I put a, a one to two eggs in it per yeah, two yeah. or three pound. Uh, Meatloaf. Yeah. Yeah. He he also mixes. He puts a couple. He puts um. He puts. Uh, oh, some people put add buttermilk to meatloaf. Yeah, yeah I've seen. He that. does like a two or three different meats also in his meatloaf. Uh huh. Yeah, I've seen a guy uh put uh half half um half ground meat beef uh half ground pork. Mm hmm. Nice. That. I have yet to try that. I'm afraid that if I if I do that, it might not stick together. I don't know. One egg per pound of meatloaf. Okay, so three pound meatloaf, three eggs. That work. Yeah. Cool. Should bind. It should make a. I find it, all the other foods he's made, but but the one I'm looking for that I made. <laughs> That's uh... usually how it works. It's like, wait a minute here. I know it's. I know it's in here somewhere. <laughs> I'm you'll now find in 2021. You'll find it one or two days after this live. Right? Oh no, I'm not giving up. I'll be sitting here chit chatting and I'll be looking for that sucker. Let me tell you. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. That was a really good. So really DJ, good. what kind of stuff do you eat, buddy? You like huh? you you like meat? Yeah, I like me. I mean, I pretty much like anything that, you know, walk around and you can cook up. But, <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, well, I will eat anything that's just a few like uh, there's a few exceptions 
evil deed to possible purpose or medical reasons, like, mm-hmm. like for example, I would love to eat selfish, mm-hmm. but I'm a little bit too breakfast much. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, you know those I will eat anything pretty much so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much why I don't eat anything. That's what's so bad about it. <laughs> I uh, eat yeah. Everything. Mm-hmm. But you know, I would say, and you know, people will, some people find this interest about me mm-hmm. because it's so unique mm-hmm. to hear. But I'm, I'm me possibly and my brother mm-hmm. were Italian and Filipino. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I have two sides that mm-hmm. make a lot of food that's really good. So, mm-hmm. I mean, Des knows all about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. There was three sides in our family: soul food, Spanish food, and German food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, my stepdad loved ham hocks and black eyed peas. That's just mm. soul. That was one of my favorite deals with um, skillet, um, skillet mm-hmm. cornbread. Nice. Uh huh. Yeah. Like a good cornbread and a cast iron skillet. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was my first time I ever had it, and it was good. Mm-hmm. And it was my last time. Mm-hmm. So, uh, <clears throat> it was coming across all the classic cars and classic trucks. So it's going to uh, be below that somewhere. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, while, we, while we talk, I'm going to be getting set up to leave. You're leaving in about ten minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it in about fifteen minutes or so. Yeah. I'm, uh, I was gonna go an hour. Yeah, I'm at forty eight. Yeah. Right yeah, I'm trying to find that picture. Oh, by the yeah. way, Glenn and April. Um, Glenn's probably gonna go live sometime before you're live. Okay. Uh, he, was in the, he was in the hospital and he got released. Yeah, no, I got a message from April this morning. Yeah, I talked to Glenn. He sounded so good. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he says he feels 100% better. His head doesn't hurt him anymore. I said, that's probably because all the blood that was trying to get to your heart was going up into your brain and making your head pulsate. Because yeah. that is it wasn't able to circulate into your heart. It was having yeah. blood pressure issues. He had a heart attack. Whoa. He yeah. drove himself to the hospital and then oh. the hospital drove him to another hospital in an ambulance. They're like, what are you doing driving yourself to the hospital after having a heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. That's scary. Then he, goes to the, he goes to the ambulance guy. He goes to the ambulance guy. I'll drive myself. You can sit in the back on the stretcher. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. drive the ambulance instead. Yeah. Yeah. But the dad was but... like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I mean, mm-hmm. I'm just glad he was doing yeah. the role. Yeah. yeah, he's home now, too. That's yeah. awesome. Like, I, I, I literally told a boy, like, mm-hmm. both of you take time to recover mm-hmm. I mean mm-hmm. it, 
you know, him having his heart death came what death a week after he was in the house for a bit. Yeah, it yeah. seems like he rests better in the, at home, too. Yeah. yeah. But he's Lock like, I'm going to go lock you coming up. I'm like, yeah, I'll come up for you. Yeah, buddy. What time is that, Des? I don't know yet. It's sometime whenever he feels like he's up for it. But I know oh. it's going to be before DJ's live at nine. Because DJ's okay. got his cartoon line, cartoon night tonight. Yeah, okay. and that's what I'm saving up for right now because uh -huh. I have to get with Nancy from our special home and uh -huh. so hard tonight called Tim so yeah yeah the dang pictures uh -huh. and now I'm going to have you on one side open up and Simon on the other side I know up. I know <laughs> yeah I'm not missing Simon and I'm not missing yours I'm supporting you both equally. Now, if I'm yeah. a wake unit, you're lucky. I might not close it until after I wake up. How how many times have I called you after my life and you sleep? Um, probably about 10 or so. Yeah, I found the pictures. Here we go. Two pictures. Nice. This is what it looks like in the pot cooking. Okay, let me let me switch oh, back over. Yeah, I get a present first. Yeah, yeah. Present. Okay. Uh, slides. Oh, no, I'm I'm getting there. Okay. Let me turn my camera off. Okay, I got, you. I got you. Okay, so that's All what right. it looks like cooked in the pot. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, that and then good. that's what it looks like when it's served. Cool. Oh, man. Yeah, that it's really good. good. What's that stew meat in there, Des? That's beef stew meat, yeah. Oh, cool. I'll yeah. try that. Mm -hmm. And that's what that is. I had a picture that showed, like, all the ingredients that I put all the ingredients that I put in there. Mm -hmm. But, I, whoops, but I can't find it. So mm. let me unpresent. All right. Yeah. But that's pretty much what it looks like when it's cooked in the yeah. pot. Um, it gets a little bit thicker than that, but it's on the thick side already. And then yeah. you put it over the rice, and then it, and then you mix it up so you get all the rice. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. What's going on? Oh, my phone. It's in here. I haven't taken it out yet. And see what my tablet. Take a picture of us for you. Okay. What? You want to take a picture and show me what it looks like? If I have to, I'll, I'll walk in there with my walker. I forgot to take everything out of my basket when I came home from the cottage. It's like right. your phone. Oh, in the basket. All right. You're cooking. You're going to smoke two pork loins tomorrow? Uh, any suggestions you want to know? Uh, who, me? Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna cook uh, pork. No, corn. he is. Oh, he is. Yeah, Kenny uh, is. Okay. Um, uh, you'll put them on your uh, pellet smoker. Hmm. Mm, sure. All right. Is it gonna let me look? If, if you're gonna put it on your pellet smoker, Kenny, uh, I'd cook them. Uh, uh you cook them two fifty or three hundred with a uh. Uh, depending on if you want to go uh, hot and fast or you want to go uh, low and slow. Uh, I, I cook them up to, uh, I think. Uh, yeah, it's see. looking good, Jeremy. Oh, uh, yeah, you have to wait till it gets soft. Should I remember? cover it? Yeah. It's already to the thickness I want? Yeah. Oh, and if no. it gets, if you start losing some of that thickness, add it just a little bit of water. It's like better be under than over. All right, I covered it. So. Okay, cool. Be back all 
I like when he experiments. Right. Yeah, we get some we get some cool oh. cool food. Some good cool Kenny, food. Kenny, if you're putting it on your uh, pellet smoker, I'd probably go probably two fifty uh on the temperature setting. You can go three two fifty, two seventy five depending on how fast you want to cook it. I cook it to an internal temperature of about 205 and should, after uh, getting it to 205, you should be able to pull that bone out and it'd be real clean. That's when you know it's done. And then you can just uh, shred it from there. What I do, it, uh, even though you, even though you um, season the outside of it, you can, um, Break it apart, you know, to make shredded if you want to, and then add more seasoning to it once you've shredded it up. Maybe a little barbecue sauce or a glaze, it turned out pretty good. That's what I've done before. But uh cook it to about 205. Now if it's a pork loin, that's different. Like uh, cooking with Steven 140. And then uh Carry over to 145. I saw, um, Stephen, I saw a deal last night on YouTube. I, I don't know about it that much. Uh, they were saying that, and I, 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 I always rest my meat, no matter what it is, I, I, steak, pork, whatever, I always rest it. A guy was trying to, say on uh youtube last night that roasting uh, that uh resting meat is a myth that um that it doesn't soak all the uh juices back into it once it relaxes and i i think uh you're better off resting it myself i really do but i i saw i shared it on my youtube page and I mean, on my Facebook page, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna go back and see if I see any reactions about it. But I, I always rest my mind and let the juices uh, come back into the center of the meat, you know, once the meat relaxes. So, uh, anybody's got any input on that in the chat? No, I don't have, I don't barbecue at all. I have yeah. a charcoal grill, but. Um, yeah. It was my friend that moved. My friend was going to move here, and they, and they bought a grill and they cooked a few times on it. But we just mm -hmm. we burn everything on that. Thing. We don't know how to cook on a grill <laughs> because we've always had apartments. We never had any porches or patios, you know. Yeah. So there was never a place to put a to put a grill. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't we couldn't use one, or we lived in places where you were not allowed to have grills. So. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do with mine, Kenny. Anything that I need to defrost, I usually put it in warm water in the sink, uh, just in the packaging or in the in the freezer bag that I have it in, and just let it defrost like that. You know. All right, guys, so I'm gonna head out. I will grab a little. All righty, enjoy whatever you're watching. All right. Take care, Bye. man. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming in, DJ. Anytime. I am tired to leave. <laughs> <laughs> He's a trip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Kenny, we don't have a KFC. Well, we used to have KFCs down the road, uh, probably about 20, 30 miles, but all of it was real, real weird. Uh, three or four towns that, that that surrounded us had KFCs in them, but they went all out of business about the same time. We have four here in Tallahassee. They shut down? No, wow. they're still active. They're still we active. We have four. But I don't like going to the one closest to us. Um, mm -hmm. I never feel like every time every time I go there, something's mm -hmm. wrong. Like the mac and cheese is wrong, or they mm -hmm. don't have any chicken left or something at a KFC. So mm -hmm. I go to the one. I go to one that's away from us. Um, that's like a twenty-minute ride the back way, fifteen, mm -hmm. well, fifteen twenty-minute ride, and um, and I love it. I like going up there. It's always fresh. They always have what I want, you know. Usually, uh, around here we're forced <laughs> to get our 
our coleslaw from Popeyes or make our own, you know? Yeah, we have Bojangles, Popeyes, and KFC here. Yeah, I like, it's just like Popeyes coleslaw. It's pretty good. We just have way too many chicken shacks. We have Slim Chickens, Canes, um, <laughs> Guthrie's, Zagsby's, um, yeah. um yeah. There's like ten, there's like ten or twelve places, Church. including like we don't have churches, but um including um what's it called? Um McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King all sell sell some kind of chicken. So uh -huh. you add that with the other chicken places, and it's just way too many chicken shacks on one strip. That's what I call them. <laughs> I know. It's like a chicken sandwich or something, but uh-huh. I tell you I what. Yeah, our Popeyes has gotten so darn expensive. Oh man, two wasn't KFC. Two, yeah, two uh five piece chicken strip dinners, one side, and uh I don't even think a drink. Yeah, maybe a drink. Uh twenty eight bucks. And I said, Good God, people. Zag is that expensive. Gotcha is that expensive. Yeah, it's it's expensive. They oh. I think we have one Hardy's left in town. On mm -hmm. the other side of town, that's it. They've closed all the Hardee's around here, and yeah. so that's one less chip and shack, and almost in Tallahassee, we got yeah. one left. <laughs> yeah. Do you like uh, raisin canes or? I haven't tried raisin cane yet. Uh, the one over we here. We have not that far from here, but I haven't tried it yet. Yeah. The one over here, we don't. Well, I say over here, it's in Salford, it's about 20, 30 miles from us. We didn't really care for the the their chicken strips. They were so greasy that the uh, batter fell off of them. You know? And I'm like, golly, man. I don't know if they didn't let the grease get hot enough before they put them in there or, or what. I mean, it just just fall off. And then you just got a, a naked chicken breast. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this ain't pretty bad. much. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Like, they'll come right out because they, they serve it too fast. So it comes right out uh -huh. of the chicken. They go, Womp, womp, and then plop and throw it in the, and throw it out the window. You know what I mean? He doesn't have a time to rest for a few seconds to get the rest of the grease yeah. stuff of it. They're just yeah. throwing it out there as fast as they can. You know who yeah. makes a really good chicken wrap sandwich, though? Arby's. Uh -huh. Oh. Arby's makes a really good um, um, chicken crisp chicken sandwich, chicken wrap, uh, uh -huh. chicken wrap, and, it, and it's like this big and it's full. And with uh -huh. the sauce in it and everything, it's full. It's really good. They have a spicy version. I don't do the spicy. I do the regular, but it's so much uh -huh. better than slim chicken. Yeah. I got slim chicken. There was like two small pieces in the wrap, and they're charging me like nine bucks. You yeah. know, and I'm like, no, I'm going to have a chicken sandwich. I'm going to. Ha it's not going to be a slim chicken with two tiny pieces of chicken. You bite into it, two bites, and your chicken's gone. You got bread left. No. Yeah, especially for nine dollars. God. Yeah. 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 But Arby's has got a really good chicken wrap, and they had, and I wish they would bring it back. They, it's not, um, it wasn't there the day it went. It was like three or four um, deep fried mac and cheese or whatever, little ball mac and cheese balls. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, it was the first time I ever had them. And let me tell you, they were good. They were really, really good. Have you tried yeah. church chicken biscuit with strawberry topping on it? The mm. strawberry topping it. No churches around here, so I, I can't even. Have you tried? No, might have to do that. <laughs> we got one church's chicken in Lake Charles. That's all we have. But I, I pass by there when uh, a lot of times when I go to Academy or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I might have to run by there, Stephen, and check it out. Thanks, man. Uh, might try that. That would be cool to try it and let us know. You know, uh, you, you say that about the strawberry topping. Uh, Popeye's had a straw. If I remember right, they had a strawberry biscuit at one time. It did a limited run, and every now and then they bring it back. But uh, I never tried it. Oh, man, I bet they are, man. Are they the, you about the same oh, no, he, oh, like he's on the island. He can't send that to me. <laughs> <laughs> put, that in, put 
put that in a freezer bag and ship it off to me. <laughs> <laughs> Video drives. <laughs> I want to try some. Yeah, it'll sit on a cargo ship for a while, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, or maybe they're lucky and they get to fly out on a on a plane or something. Yeah, you know, small airport, you know. Take a um, take a, a goose plane. A goose plane is a water plane. Takes off. It's like on land and it goes yep. into the water and it takes off and comes back. Yeah, yeah. We used to yeah. do that from St. Thomas to St. Croix to visit my uncle. What in bush so, plane? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Plane by plane, that's right. Put on, a, put it on a little goose plane and have it taken to mainland and have it sent up here. <laughs> it's still probably faster than our USPS system, that's for sure. Right? Yeah, I wonder how, I wonder how um, the big guys are doing here in Tallahassee. We have the big guns, mm. the, ins um, the inspectors, attorney, or whoever's in charge of the um, post office outside of the post, the postmaster general. You know, mm -hmm. who, who screwed everything up. So. We have the big guns doing an audit on all of all of um, our um, post offices here um, in Tallahassee. Think we got like down to the bottom of all this shipping stuff problem. Shipping stuff, um, mail disappearing, checks disappearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like all Good. sorts of stuff disappearing. Yeah, and Good. not being sent out. You know, not being sent out, so people are not getting their mail. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a big. There's a big investigation in Tallahassee on that. I tell you what, you know, you have some things coming from Texas, and it ain't it ain't the it ain't the fault of the person that's sending you the stuff. Yeah. It's the USPS. Used to you could get something in Houston from Houston in about one or two days. Now it's yeah. four or five days. Heck, last time it was almost two weeks. I ordered something from Texas. Well, the person yeah. that was put in, who was put in charge. From mm -hmm. last, um, from the last um, presidential, yeah, closed a bunch of post offices down, took out a lot of machines that do shipping and all that stuff out. Um, um, so that's why, and then sold a lot of equipment what he was not supposed to do. Uh, so they were trying to wanted, do the same amount for, but with less. Um, that or he was trying to get it so that it was privatized, so that yeah. people would have to, you know, so they can jack the prices up. You know oh, how yeah. you go from like, you know, they're trying to take it where, um, they're trying to take it where it's going to cost you fifty bucks to pay, to send a package instead of twenty five bucks to send a package. You know, so yeah. they can get a profit. You know, so yeah. they want the profit in their pocket and they want yeah. to have the stock people and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. what they're trying to do. And so yeah. they're trying to. The board has to decide to get this person out because. The president can't do it, but he can elect somebody into the position, but he can't fire the person who yeah. the board or whoever's in charge of the postal service has to get yeah. him out. Yeah. So and that's and that's what's interfering with a lot of our mail going out because they close a lot of post offices that are big from one destination to another, you mm -hmm. know. And so that's what part of the problem is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. That's why we're all getting our mail late or, or it's disappeared. Like my mail, to mail my bills, usually gets there in time. Yeah. And it was over a month and a half before my bills got in. And I had to issue another bill before they shut off my internet and my lights. Mm -hmm. I mean, I issued another check. Meantime, mm -hmm. I told them, don't deposit my check. And they deposited my check. So then mm -hmm. I had to pay. And I told the bank, put a stop payment on these checks. But mm -hmm. these guys turn around and deposit it. So I had to pay a fee to the bank and pay a mm -hmm. fee for a, a bounce a check that didn't work. So oh. on top of paying the bill. So I got a hundred dollars in fees. Did they? Did, was you able to get make them give it back to you? No, they mm -hmm. wouldn't give me back my fees. My the, the fees I paid. Oh, that's sorry of them to do yeah. that. Yeah. That's pretty sorry. Yeah, and I told them don't deposit the check. The check got lost in the mail. I'm mm -hmm. issuing you a new one, and they deposited it anyway. Mm. I was ripping pissed. I was. Oh, so I bet. Doggone. I was so pissed. It, yeah. is. it didn't matter to them because it didn't cost them anything. Exactly. They profited. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. It's not like I bounced a check. You know, check got lost in the mail. I issued a new one. The money mm. was there. Yeah. 
So I had to take money out of one bank account yeah. and I had to pay cash with the account I had down here because my check up north was the one that was missing. Yeah. Thankfully, I told my aunt, I mean, not my aunt, my stepmom, the check got lost in the mail. It's going to be there. Mm -hmm. um, so I just want to let you know. Or the, or, and they contacted the um, accountant, and the accountant called me to confirm it. And I said, yeah, I mailed it out. You guys, mm -hmm. I always mail it out like on the third of the month when I get money put in my accounts. And mm -hmm. it goes out on the third of the month as long as I have my utility bills in hand. And mm -hmm. now I drive my utility bill and drop it off at the box at mm -hmm. the light company. And I draw, I take it to Comcast mm -hmm. and I pay it in the machine there. And mm -hmm. and like five minutes later, I got a text. We've accept, we've got your payment. Thank you so much. Yeah, because you, you, do, you don't want to have to do those reconnection fees. Oh, Lord. No, no. but I don't want to pay another fee of lost mail. Exactly. So it's only one check that gets mailed. The other uh -huh. two get dropped off. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I better get going, guys. I had to cut it short, <laughs> but I got to I got to start cooking for my well redoing the heating up the leftovers and stuff from a wife. She's coming home from work, so I appreciate everybody. Yeah, coming I understand that. All right, you have a good night. Uh, you too, Des. Uh, I'll probably. Uh, you said that at uh, DJ's lives coming on tonight. You said this comes on at nine o'clock. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tonight at nine, Thursday at eight. Um, Thursday is more like an open tonight because um, uh -huh. he, he's a cartoon channel. So Tuesday nights are yeah. mostly about cartoon shows, cartoon movies, or whatever. So, okay. yeah. So they're watching oh, a cartoon oh. right now, and they'll discuss it later. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for coming by, Des, and everything. And appreciate it for the support. And y'all have a good night, and uh, y'all stay safe out there. So. You too. All right. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.